by virus and hunger. Many do not know if this will be the last supper for their loved ones. Are we going to be thrown out with the garbage? Is death the end? Since Celia and I and the aura seers of Creator's Child have seen that the next few decades can be very challenging. Viruses, climate catastrophe, intolerance, wars. The theme of the Last Supper is one that I have been artistically drawn to. The Last Supper is a moment 2,100 years ago when a great teacher, Jesus, came to his disciples and told them he was going to die horribly. But they could take heart from the fact that he would rise from the dead, that King Death would be overthrown. Now, over the last two and a half decades, as healers and spiritualists, we have seen death being beaten. Patients that doctors have given up on have miraculously recovered. People have actually returned after being declared clinically dead. And we have seen many in worlds beyond shining and gloriously happy. To get a glimpse of the Last Supper and the disciples, Celia and I used aura sensing and intuition that has guided so many thousands over the last 25 years. At first, we saw glimpses, fragments. Here a beard, there a scar. Then as they realized we were serious, they began to relate to us. Even though they were shining lights and glorious lights, their earthiness began, began to come through. For example, they made fun of another disciple who at that point in time used to eat heartily and make the most atrocious smells. The Last Supper on Throwaway Plates includes some that the Gospels do not say is part of the Last Supper. Like the women who cooked and served. And St. John, whose presence was part of the dinner. The Jesus I portray is calm, assured, and can look deep into your soul. But I got other glimpses, a playful child, a teenager, burning eyes at the cross, and a luminous visage after he rose from the dead. The Last Supper on Throwaway Plates reminds us to enjoy each meal. It reminds us to love the moments of our lives. It reminds us that though somebody may be humble, just a fisherman, a carpenter, a security guard even, a sweeper, they are not unimportant for they may be earth saviors, life saviors. We need to remember that life does not end with life. We are immortal beings. Each one of us will not just survive death, but the truth is we can triumph over death. There is more 
and we can all aspire to it. We can, as Jesus said, sit at the right hand of God. sometimes seems dark and terrible.